Mr. Roberto Fabio. Good night, sir. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Good evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure too. Yay. How you been today? How was your day? It was a good day. Uh, really? What do you do? Mostly work, but... <laughs> okay. Besides <laughs> that? Work, but it, was, it was not hard work. Ah, okay. Today was an easy day. Really? Yeah, we... That's cool. Until today, we you were just finishing some papers, but now in the in the in the afternoon, yeah, in the afternoon, uh, a client sent the information. So tomorrow we we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but today was easy. So today was today relaxed, was, but tomorrow was relaxed. is gonna yeah. be like double it. Yeah, tomorrow we have to work what what we didn't do today. <laughs> uh, yes, exact. A lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know what is because um, I think uh, well, do you work with this uh, client of states? Uh, states like. Uh, no, I mean right now what? the client, the, the client is here in El you know, Salvador. Yeah, the client is here ah. in Salvador, but uh, okay. for the uh, because the COVID uh, the COVID pandemic, we yeah. we now we have the the dynamic of. They send up the, the digital digital information. Mm -hmm. We analyze it and we go there to the to the companies to check the, the physical information. Ah, okay. Yeah. So oh right. So well, baby, because they need to like you know what we're in the end of the year actually. So yeah, that's why they are so running are a lot. In a hurry right now because we have to see the information from a company that were not ready until now <laughs> okay and there's a lot of information to to gather in that one Ooh. all at once so <laughs> oh my god you should uh, take some vitamins just in case yeah for this is the time we need it most the worst time is between february to april that why to, to may to may because there is a lot of information to see. We have to make the, the close of the year for all the, the, the companies. And yeah. Yeah, it's very stressful. Oof. May is really stressful. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah I know that. April mm. to May is really, really hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember those days. No way. I'm, re I'm a little <laughs> up more relaxed. Well, well, I'm about to to do something else, so uh, hopefully I'm not gonna get more stress. <laughs> <laughs> Let's count that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna start my training. Let me check if I pass the, uh, the information that they asked me to send them to. Uh, I'm waiting for the client's response. So if I pass, I'm gonna start my training this coming November 15th. Oh my god. I think I'm going to end it up on December the 3rd, I think. Third. Uh-huh. Not going to be that. Yeah, uh, hopefully they said that we're going to have a Thanksgiving off. Hopefully, please. <laughs> I'm begging. Yeah. I'm begging to have a Thanksgiving. Most of the time they give us a, the Thanksgiving. It's really weird that they give us the Black Friday. But uh well, only one day off it's okay. But you know what the oh. worst thing is? that well thanksgiving we don't have a specific date although we know that the thanksgiving will be every time or every year is the last thursday of november last thursday, last thursday of november oh. exactly yeah that's why for example there's another date like july the 4th right that we know that is u.s independence right mm -hmm. but but in thanksgiving we cannot provide like a specific date because we don't have a date all only we we know that the Thanksgiving is the last Thursday of November, and the Black Friday is of course next after Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but there in the states, Black Friday is Black Friday. It is, <laughs> yeah. It's the last you Friday can, of the of yeah. November, you can right? get like a wedding dress that most of the time it costs like three thousand, five thousand dollars. There in that time, you can get it for three hundred dollars each. 
they really make some yeah. great discounts great. today. Great offers, great offers. You know what? I thought it would be it was supposed to be one on one session, right, with Mr. Fabio, but I have two beautiful ladies that are right today's class. I do have Marce here and also Anita. That. that's amazing hey Thank mr you, fabio lucky you you're a bless between this beautiful between girl oh my goodness girls. how does it feel sir how does it feel <laughs> oh no oh my god what that's say. what I, I you know what sometimes i can't wait because francisco just arrived a few francisco, seconds hi. ago so sorry fabio <laughs> yeah you know what francisco we were like uh, congratulating Mr. Fabio because he was the only guy between these beautiful girls. However, <laughs> when I, when the teacher was saying, you are blessed between these beautiful ladies, I appeared. The second day you appeared. I was like, eh. all right, so I better do not say anything. I'm just sorry. Yeah, and no, that's okay. Now we have Enrique. That's great. Hey, Mr. Debe Web Developer, right? Am mm. I right? Is that mm. what you do, Enrique? Uh, you're a web developer, yeah? Enrique. Henry. Henry, sorry. Oh I'm my sorry. God. You oh my God. Henry. You know what? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I was he, wondering. Who's you're... Enrique? No. Is you're that Enrique. my dream? <laughs> Maybe. You know what? I, I don't know the... why. I, 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 this, I have a dyslexia right now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, he, he, that's why I was Enrique, Enrique. He was like, <laughs> she asking for. It's me, but I don't know. The name is, is different. Yeah, I, your name is Henry. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Henry. I had to remember one of my uh, university classmates, Henry. He used to be my re a really good friend for, of me. All right. Yeah. yeah. And I also have Katy. Katia is here. Uh, it's Katia. No, Katy. Oh, my God. It's because I have another friend. And okay. she's like around my age. And she lives close to me or nearby. But her name is Katy, Katia also. But, but I call her Katy. That's why I sometimes <laughs> I, I call you Katy because I remember her. But I'm sorry, it's Katia. I'm oh, sorry for that. Mirnita, <laughs> Noemi, hi, how are you? Hey, this is the first but time, right? <laughs> this is the first time, right? Yes. Yeah, so my, my, little, my little baby was. Uh, very sick and for this oh. reason I, I didn't be in the class. <laughs> no, I understand. No problem. That, that happens. Okay. My recommendation, Mirunita, will be that since we started last week, it was Wednesday, the first class, okay. uh, the videos are already there on our list, on the class list. So my best recommendation will be if you can take a time to watch them so you, you know what we're talking about, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank, thank no, you. But, no, thank you. I'm so happy to see you. Elsa <laughs> okay. Vasquez, yay! I have Mr. Ever Alexander. Omar, nice to meet you. Woohoo! <laughs> Rigoberto, yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. Hi. I love your baby. He, he looks like you, right? Yeah, hi. Hi. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? <gasps> There's a baby. Hey. Oh, uh, oh, that's your nephew? Oh my god. Hi. Uh, hi, baby. Oh my god, we have two, two more uh, people who joined today's class. That's amazing. Those are the youngest ones. Yeah, hey, that's, hey, that's cool. Oh, you know what? I love your baby chicks, Noemi. I love it. I want to like grab the chicks and like yeah. I love them. I love babies and I love animals by heart. I love them. Oh, so that's okay. He can be with us. No problem for me. It's better. It's better because at the young age, he's listening in English. It's good. Excellent for me. Yeah. I have also Mr. Ba oh my God, look. Hey, Byron changed. Uh, Background, that's amazing. Now he's like in the summertime where the weather is fine, right? Oh, come on, Byron. You should live with that. It's from, it's from my job. <laughs> the background ah, is from... okay, okay, okay. Yeah. No, 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 yes. <laughs> of course, yeah. we cannot disclaim, right? Paid. Security reasons, for security purposes. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but you know what? Nice. I like it. <laughs> yeah. This is the one for this month. We ah, changed okay. it for October. We used another one that it was for Halloween. 
and now we got another and i think we are gonna get we are going to get one for christmas for the summer ah, so, yeah. okay okay maybe, those are for the millions that we got uh ah, with you, all the partners but you should put like a background of thanksgiving <laughs> oh yeah yeah i think yeah they are gonna give us maybe the next week or something yeah, yeah. hopefully they, they can provide it to you because yeah it would be nice when yeah. is thanksgiving fabio remember the, on the the last thursday right of november. thursday exactly oh. always will be the last thursday of november there's no specific date the it 25th not, uh, i think so let me check it out if i'm not mistaken the 25th thursday, exactly 25th. and then yeah. follows the black friday the 26th mm -hmm. That's right. And then virtual uh, Cyber Monday. <laughs> and Cyber Monday, yes. Hey, congratulations, Byron, on the pronunciation on the 25th. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, because most of the time, guys, we ended up to remember uh, or to forget that when we're talking about dates, we should use order round numbers, no cardinal numbers. So it's pretty, pretty good. Very good. Yeah, you know what? Like every time you, you you pronounce 25th, you gotta feel the air that comes out of your mouth. Yeah. And most of the time you touch the upper part of your butt of your teeth with the lower part of your lip. Fifth. So that will pronounce correctly. Fifth, like FIFA, the one that's supposed to be to before taking care of all the I soccer some, one. Yeah. Before I got some problems on the pronunciation, or it was confusing with mm -hmm. Thursday and Tuesday. Ah, I Thursday. Have, yeah, with Thurs. those. <laughs> Look at my mouth. Thursday. Thursday. Some at the beginning it will feels like exaggerating, right? Thursday. <laughs> but when you practice it continuously, your face and model would get used to it. So we'll come on easily. One of the tips that I can provide it to you guys, if when you have a TH together, like Thursday, for example, you gotta pronounce it like a Z as in zebra. Thursday. When we have a PH together, like Phillips or Philadelphia, for example, you gotta pronounce it with an F as in Frank. Okay. That is a tip. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna show, uh, I'm, uh, you know what? I have a new expression for you that I know you have no heard about that. I can get, oh, maybe I don't know if you use it. Could be, right? Yeah, tell us. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. No, and it's supposed to be like this. I I I um I downloaded on my on my cell phone and also I um I save it. I save it because of one thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have you used the, the expression of the idiom sure thing? Sure thing. No, no. I don't think no, so. I'm gonna write it to you. And let me check. I'm gonna write it to you. When, for example, you said, I, I have sent this information and everything. Uh, hopefully the client approves, for example. And you said, sure thing. Sure thing. What does it mean? Maybe for something that we are uh we trust that they are gonna accept certainly like certainly yes but do you know what it means different ways depends on the context yeah <laughs> have you ever have you ever used this expression sure, sure thing no actually no but i think it's for when we are sure about something that there is gonna happen or, or i don't know yes uh, for example a uh, also you can say um for example, the kids, right? Uh, maybe the, your nephew Katya asked you, hey, can I watch? And you said, sure thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Certainly. Yeah. It's like indeed? Yes, it's like indeed. But well, here, of but, course. But, when but, people but say, Henry, of course. Indeed is British. 
Okay. But it varies because indeed is like, of course, exactly. Yeah. But sure thing is more than indeed. Okay. Because indeed will always means the same. But sure thing, it will vary the meaning depends on the context that you use it. This is, is it the brand new for you guys? Yes. Yeah. Sure it's, thing, it's, a, it's a polite, polite it's frame. Actually, no, it's informal. No, it's, it's a, informal. Popular, well, informal. It's informal, popular. It's like an idiom. It's okay. like an affirmation. Yes, affirmation. exactly. However, you can, you can use it in a familiar context, but also you can use it in, um, for example, in work context. If, for example, Byron is chatting via Teams or another um, communication tool that you have with your, um, with your team members and they ask you for something and you said, sure thing, right? So you can also use it like that sure. way, sure thing. Uh, I, guys, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, hopefully I can remember, but please, you know what? I'm not, I don't have an elephant uh, memory. Had to be honest it's with like, you. <laughs> yes. So if you do me a favor, uh, you can send me a message through the WhatsApp group. Say, teacher, don't forget to send the sure things explanation context, right? So I can send it to you. <laughs> Please. Just a friendly reminder because I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had to be honest and accepted it. What can I do? Nothing. Right. Mm hmm. Yes, and after the COVID, you know what? Something happens with my brain. <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think I, I need a friendly reminders. You know what? We, we, when you were younger, you said, I oh, know I have a good memory. I have an elephant memory, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, and it was true. But when you're getting older, I, in my case, I'm not going to trust in my memory anymore. I always have a piece of paper, a sticky notes or something because, um, you tend up to forget things. Now and I'm happy true. when someone gave me a, a notebook. <laughs> really? You're happy? Yeah, when you have when more responsibilities. Uh, mm -hmm. A notebook or, or uh, a stick, a stickers or something. A sticky notes, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm happy with that. <laughs> me too, because they're helpful. They are yeah. helpful. I have now an agenda as well. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm an old fashioned girl, but I have an agenda because I need it. Definitely, yes. I need it. The more responsibility that you have, you have a lot of things to do. And well, you are human, you can make a mistake. Right? So to avoid any mistakes or any inconvenience, you better have something to, to help you with a friendly reminder, right? Okay, guys. Well, without further well. hesitate. Yeah. Hello, who say no? Who say no? Who scared me? <laughs> no. Hello, Hi, Alex. Alexander. Hi, Alexander. How are you? It was, it was my conscience. It's like <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet Hi. you. We miss ya. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, we have Alex. You know what? We have another a team member who is really brand new, Mr. Rafael Herrera. And we also have Ever Alexander Lopez is good. And Henry Molina as well. And Gabby, Gabby, where have you been, my girl? Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Javier Mundo as well. Hi, Gabby. How was your day? Hi. Was it good? Mm, so, so. You look um, tired. Mm, uh, so, so, because uh, my aunt passed away of COVID, so it's Sorry been really difficult days. Yes. Um, today it was like the definitive say goodbye because mm -hmm. um, they went to the cemetery and all that. Uh, so we, um, I I'm getting over it. Yes, yeah. I understand. It's not easy to pass through those situations. Doesn't matter if you're already grown up. But I really appreciate it that even though that you are in like feeling like that way, you're still here. You make your extra mile, your extra effort. So I had to congratulate you because of that. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay right now on camera, that's okay. If you don't want to, that's okay. I'm allow you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. Thank you so much. 
Okay, Mr. Ever Alexander, very good. And Henry Molina, I, hey, we have another Henry, but Henry is without H, this one. So we have with okay. without H, that's cool. Very good, Rigoberto. Rafael Herrera, could you please show us your beautiful face? If it's possible, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Because sometimes we are not, we are in a workplace, still in workplace, or sometimes we are in a completely disaster. So I don't know. That's what I was asking. Or maybe he's not on the spot yet, right? That could be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> we got away for that. Dahlia, thank you so much. Nice to meet you, girl. All righty. So without further hesitation, let's review the last thing that we, that we studied on Thursday, right? That was the last class. Can somebody tell me what was it? I know Relative that you have a really what? Relative classes. Are you sure? What happened? Who in that? Hey, what happened? No, but that was not the last not. one. Yes. That was the one on for one, me. My on, ah, class. for you. <laughs> 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 but I'm talking about Thursday. <laughs> no, no, but it's the last Thursday. No, it's the last Thursday. Really? We we yes. we did a review at the beginning, but I mean the last topic that we saw Thursday. Uh, and uh, okay. <laughs> not just teasing. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. No, but thank you, Alex. Who can help me? Marce? Adjective. Uh huh. Adjectives do what? Adjective? Uh huh. Mm. Adjectives. To describe the noun. Aha, uh -huh, to this, of course, the adjective describes the noun, you're right. But uh, to describe in this case, what? Personal characteristics. Exactly, yeah. very good, Fario. To describe people's personality or, per yeah? Remember yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That was the last thing that we saw. So, what? It, does a, a woman look for a, uh, for a man in a relationship? In uh -huh. what a man exactly, and vice versa, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But also, do you remember the, the last thing? And I sent it to you a few hours ago today in the WhatsApp. Hopefully, you have seen it, right? Uh, that we just saw positive and negative characteristics that we can use um to talk about or to describe to describe people's personalities okay so let's okay. play let's play today i teacher okay. <laughs> and mars is like mm. <laughs> yeah let's play it and let's double check how much you remember okay <laughs> uh, sorry noemi you shouldn't have come to class today. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So let me show right now my screen. <laughs> hey, have you played like a roller? A spin roller? Roulette? Have you, have you played a roulette? Yeah? yeah. Roulette? Mm -hmm. Roulette? No. Wait, Susan. Uh -huh. Well, if no, it's going to be the first sign. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So let me just a couple of minutes. Ta -da! Let me put it a bit bigger. All right. Okay. Uh huh. But I'm gonna click on this one. No. Yes, this was the one that I need. Uh huh. Okay. Here you go. We have positive, negative, 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 positive, whatever, right? Okay. So I'm going to spin this and then I'm going to stop it. And I don't know if it's going to stay on a positive uh, adjective or a negative adjective. I don't know. But if it stays in negative or positive, then I'm going to ask somebody to give it to me an example of positive or negative adjective to describe people's personality. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, okay. uh, no, 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 no. You don't have energy. Come on, I know it's Monday. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, that's the spirit. Come on. All righty, so let's get ready to rumble. Okay. I like this one, right? But it, it makes me dizzy sometimes. 
<laughs> negative. All right. Thank you so much for the participation, Byron. Go ahead. Can I have a negative uh, uh, adjective, please? <laughs> Um, negative adjective to describe people's personality. We saw just last Thursday. Sting. Byron. <laughs> Don't help him. Uh -huh, oh Mr. Byron? I, didn't <laughs> I didn't remember. Okay, who said that? The negative adjective who said that? Stingy. Stingy. No. Can I can I have your name, please? Because I cannot see you right now, girl. Sorry, it's Dahlia. Dahlia. Dahlia? Okay, yeah. Dahlia. Yeah. Thank you so much. Which one you said? Stingy, right? Stingy. Okay. And what does it mean, girl? People who doesn't like sharing. 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 No. Be or people doesn't yeah. like to share. Exactly. In yeah. Spanish, codo, right? Codo. <laughs> Alrighty. Very good. Let's spin. Okay. One more. One more time. Positive. Can I have a foxy example, Fabio? Tom? Which one? Tom? No, we haven't seen that. Ah, uh, uh, the ones we saw. The ones we uh, saw, yes. Ah, uh, so mm. easy guy? Easy guy, very good. What does it mean, Fabio? Uh, someone who is easy to be with. with be with? Uh huh, or hang out with, yeah. That's yeah. awesome, very good job. Okay, let's continue. Positive, oh, that's good. They were more positive than negatives. And let me check it out. Katia, can I have a positive one, please? Have Katia. Compre comprehensive. 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 What does it mean? A person who understands. A person <laughs> who understands. Uh -huh. But it's not conflict, right? Very okay. good. Excellent. Okay. That's great. Excellent. And one more, one more, and then we go. And we come back together. Another positive. That's great. I like it. Uh, another positive. Omar, do you remember? Wise. A person wise. Wise. Yeah. But do you remember the ones that we saw on Thursday? Excuse me? The one that we saw on Thursday. Do you remember one of those? Um, I don't remember the... I forgot the other. You forgot. You forgot. Uh huh. <laughs> Shame on you. I just get it. Uh huh. So no, sorry. No, that's okay, Romar. I understand. That's why I make that this review every class. So that means, guys, that with me, you have two options. You have to study, or you have to study. Which one you prefer? <laughs> study. <It's starting. laughs> study. And Dalia said both. <laughs> so you see, hey, did you, didn't you get dizzy with a roulette? Yeah, a little bit dizzy, like like Taz. Yeah. All righty, do you like it? Yes. You see, it's like it's a like more dynamic, right? Okay, so let me share right now my uh, place with you, and we're going to make a a refresh, right? Well, the last topic that we have seen, not only for the guys who were in the class but also with the ones that weren't. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. Uh -oh, there you go, that's the one that I need. All right, there you go. Can you see it? Mm. Easy going. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah, teacher. I have it, <laughs> I have it in my tongue, but it didn't come up. Uh -huh. And I took a screenshot of that. I uh -huh. <laughs> oh, shame on you, come on. All righty, so easy going, right? Yeah, egotistical. Is it a uh, positive or negative, guys? Negative. Uh -huh. negative. Unflexible. Negative. negative. Modest. Positive. 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 So sociable. Positive. positive. Mm -hmm. Stingy. Negative. Negative. That's negative, right? Yeah. Exactly. Supportive. Positive. 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 Temperamental. 
Negative. 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 Unreliable. Negative. Very Negative. good. You, so you see, that's the one we saw. Okay, so we already make a review of that because what we are going to do right now, and we're going, I let you know, guys, that we're going to develop a lot the listening part, a lot. So that's why <laughs> right now we are about to hear three uh, conversation of uh, about three persons, right? And uh, the first thing that I want you to do is do me a favor. Just just let me know if uh, they're, they're, they're explaining about positive adjectives or negative adjectives about this person. That's, all, that's the only thing that I need. Uh, you're going to listen to conversations that describes three people. And I want you guys to let me know, is the description or are the descriptions positive or negative? That's all that I need so far. You ready? Yes. Cool. All righty. Then I'm going to play it one more time. And I'm going to ask you something else. But right now, that's all that I need. For exercise five, listening. What are they like? Part A. Listen to conversations that describe three people. Are the descriptions positive, P, or negative, N? Check the box. One. Andrea. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know... She asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Guys, are those negative or positive? Negative. 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 Very good. Negative. Continue with the second one. Okay. Two, James. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. What about him? Positive. 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 There you go. Let's check the last one. Three, Mr. Johnson. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. Was it easy? Negative. Negative, Negative right? Negative. Negative. Okay. I think this part was easy. Wasn't it? Yeah? Yeah, right. Yes. Kind of. Okay, now it comes the hardest part. Mm -hmm. That's okay. why we double check the, the adjectives before listening to this. Because now, what I want you guys to let me know is two adjectives that describe each person character, okay? But okay. you have to 
listen carefully because they don't say the adjective. They don't say easy going. They don't say reliable. They don't say it like that. No? They are going to mention people's behavior. So you got to remember what, what was the characteristics that we just saw. We just double check a few seconds ago. And then you got to let me know according to what you heard about each person uh, describes um, another person's personality, right? So you got to listen carefully. I only need two. Maybe they can say it a lot. Okay, I don't care about that. I only need two. Two for Andrea, two okay. for John, and also two for Mr. John. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay, so let me share right now my screen. Sometimes I forget that I have to share my screen for you to listen to, so I may apologize for that, right? You see, I'm getting older, I'm told you. There you go. Page four, exercise five, listening. What are they like? Part A, listen to conversations that describe three people. Are the descriptions positive, P, or negative, N? Check the box. One, Andrea. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Two, James. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Three, Mr. Johnson. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. It was another hard part, right? Because uh, uh, the first time that you listened, I just make a pause after each description. But right now, I didn't do it. And it's because I want you guys to get used to it, okay? You got it, you catch it, you catch it. You don't, sorry. Like that, right? <laughs> I, I know it was hard, but I did it for one purpose. Okay. Because okay. you got to be multitasking. Okay. Right? You got to try to listen at the same time writing. So we're, we are working the different skills right now in a different ways. All righty. Very yes. good. So, Andrea, can you please be so kind to let me know, guys, two adjectives that describes Andrea's personality? Only two? Egotistical. Stingy. Very good. Stingy. Stingy. No. Stingy. 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 No, no, it's stingy. 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 Very good. 
That I it's, I will have a grammar attack if you said a stingy, please. <laughs> All righty, very good. When a bad, what was the, the next one? Alexander, right? No, it was not Alexander. Come on, teacher. No. It was Mr. It's James. 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 Okay, two uh, adjectives to describe his personality. So is he going? Is he going? If I am sociable, yeah. What about Mr. Johnson? Uh, temperamental. 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 Unreliable. 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 Temperamental. Yes, because it, they, he said as he's gonna do something and he hasn't come up right. Yeah, exactly. And she described that sometimes she's in a good mood and he changes like like this, right? Uh huh. Very yes. good. Excellent. Why, why, guys? I'm giving you this kind of listening exercises because it will be really easy. They will give us everything right in in plate. Just to open your mouth, please. Okay. But sometimes you gotta like try to use all your senses and try to identify about everything that they said. You gotta identify the, exactly the information that they requested you for, right? So it's really, really important that try to identify or try to like focus on the to get the answer that you need right okay because okay. there are, there are start people talking in conversation and they're going and they're not going not all the time they're going to give you that the straight to the head right the answer that you need they will like a start talking and give you the whole bunch of story right the whole soap opera and then in the middle mm -hmm. of that you gotta catch or you gotta get okay. or take out the information that you need and okay if, you can ask byron that is, that is what happens in a call center. When you receive a client's uh, information and you said, hey, tell me what happened. And they're just like, last month I called and I received, and I talked with an agent and the agent, blah, 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 and you gotta pay attention and try to put your notepad and just try to like, for the whole story that the client is telling you, you gotta like take out the information that you, that you need and then you need to recap. So if I understood you correctly, what had happened to you is this and this and this and this and this. So that's why you got to be an active listener. That's why I'm, I'm providing you those kind of exercises because they're really, really important. Good? Got it? Cool. Now, guys, let me ask you right now, so far, if there's any questions that you might have regarding this topic, Everything is easy peasy queasy like water or like or chata. Mm. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, tell me right now or sip it forever. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> so, in my case, I know just I need to study more. Yes, definitely. You will need to study more. I 100% agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I teacher, you're so bad. No, I'm not. I'm just happy to be here with you. Okay. I think that the the topic mm -hmm. is is right. It's clear, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe we need to learn more uh, adjectives to describe ah, yes. personalities. Or definitely, or yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. There are more. There are more. To be honest with you, there are a lot actually. There are a lot. But um, I just gave you like, some information. And also today you're going to learn something more, even though it will be a different topic. But mm -hmm. you will be able to link the ideas. I, I guarantee you 100% about that. And if you want to, I can, I'm going to double check something of my materials and maybe I can send it to you, okay? And extra information to increase your vocabulary. That would be a good idea, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Of course. Yes. So I'm going to send it to you like later on and please be patient with me because I have a lot of things to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I try to do my best to be multitasking as well. Sometimes I feel like an octopus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very, you know, right? You know, right, Francisco, how it is to be, to be a teacher, right? It's not easy. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So guys, um... Let me ask you something. Remember that we that we just said last week that there are another ways to express when we when you don't like things, when you like things, and when you don't really care about that about something. Yeah, I think I've mentioned to you 
I don't know if you remember. If not, I will be make more than that to refresh it. Uh, yes, it is. And that's what we use relative clauses with it and relative clauses with when. Another grammar topic, which I know that you will love it. I guarantee you 100%. Yes, that, that's basically you use it. And uh, when you're talking about things that you like, things that you don't like, and things that you don't care, right? That's another way, for example. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you have used or if you have heard, for example, expressions like, I love it. I don't like it. I don't mind it. I hate it. It doesn't bother me. It really upsets me. Have you used them? Yeah, have you heard them? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. basically, that will be one of the expressions that we use to talk about that. But before we just introduce to this topic, guess what? I, 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 nobody said, what teacher? Okay. I'm going to answer myself. <laughs> yeah, um, I have another uh, listening activity for you. Okay. Yeah, and this time I'm not gonna give you anything in writing. Oh no, yes, no, I will give you, I will share with you because I will need you to answer a few questions for me. So, or, or to mark the score that you got after listening okay. to this information. So basically guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send you, it will be like a semi quiz, mini quiz, but it's not going to be scored. Don't worry about that. It's just a semi quiz for yourself. And I want you guys to listen some common complaints. And uh, first of all, I'm going to play the audio. You're just going to listen. And the second time, I'm going to give you the, the writing material. So you will be able to listen and at the same time, you will be able to read. And I just want you guys to let us know after we finish the listening part, which complaints you are agree and which complaints you are not agree with. Okay? Okay. All righty. Okay. So let's double check. Ready? Okay. Two, career moves. Page eight, exercise two, perspectives. Career debate. Wait a minute. Teacher, what happened to you? I uh -huh. Guys, it's Monday. <laughs> it's what Monday. Uh, it's Monday. Monday. Is it's Monday. Yeah, so, so be what please happened? patient with me. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday, guys. The body knows that it's Monday sometimes. Our All brain right. is lowly. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sometimes that happens to me. Let me check. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, there you go. That's the one that I need. Ah, yes. Guys, finally I found it. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a patient teacher. You see, I told you guys it's Monday. All righty. So there you go. Now I have it. There you go. Five, exercise eight. Perspectives. Quiz. Part A. Listen to some common complaints. Check the ones you agree with. Do you get annoyed easily? I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. Oops, sorry, Henry. I hate it when people talk with their mouths full. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. I can't stand it when people talk loudly to each other during a movie. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. Score. If you... Mm -hmm. Okay. So you already have listened. So now this is what I'm gonna do. Did you catch something? Do you get the information or like mm, I know? <laughs> I know. Why I said because you know what? It's different. There's another listening a tip. It's different when you just listened, and it's different when you have something in writing at the same time you're listening. 
not only because you understand better, but also because that will help you also to identify how a certain word is pronounced as well. So that will also help you with that pronunciation. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to send it to you right now to the WhatsApp, right? So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. There you go. I have it here. There you go. There you go. Okay, I got it. Okay, I'm going to send it to you. Just let me know as soon as you're able to receive it, okay? Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Okay, I just sent it to you. Let me know if you guys receive it. Yes. Yep. Yes or no? No. No. Are no. you in the WhatsApp? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. You got it? I received it. I received it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is yes. what I want. Okay, this is the list, the, uh, the common complaints that you have just heard. And uh, there's like a little boxes right next to each uh, statement. So what I want you guys to do is just check the ones that you agree with. That means that the thing happens to you, for example. And after, after we review it, we're going to double check how many points or how many um, squares you have checked. Okay. Are you ready? Ready? Yes. 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 Yeah. We okay. are. Okay. Yes. We are ready. We are the champions, my friends. Very good. There you go. Okay. Oh, somebody wrote me. You you have yeah. it, Dalia? Yes, I have it. The the the, the, uh, are, the are you in the in the WhatsApp group? No, I don't have. That's no, I don't the have. reason why. True. You because are my first day. Ah, yes. Okay, do me a favor. Wait, wait a minute. Before we continue, let me do something. I'm going to help you right now. Okay. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, on the chat, what's up? Or in the chat thing, I'm going to send it to you right now, guys. Or I'm going to paste the link that you need to click in order to be in the WhatsApp group. Okay, I'm gonna post it right now. Okay. You have it, it's there right now. So do me a favor, try to click on that right now. And they will ask you, would you like to enjoy, to join the WhatsApp group, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, say yes, please. For those of you who are not in the WhatsApp, I mean, Dalia and who else is not there? Alexander, right? Or I don't know. Rafael. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. Yes. Alex, you're missing the E for Oki and you're missing the E for Doki. Okay. Okay, but that's okay. Thank you, Marce. Very good. And I'm missing Dahlia, right? Yes, I know. Go ahead, girl. You can do it. I'm, I'm gonna wait for you. Just click on the on the chat, on the Zoom chat. I pasted it already. But if what they are in, but if they are in in a computer, they yeah. need to open the WhatsApp in WhatsApp web. Oh, really? Oh well. Because yeah. only yeah. only if they have open WhatsApp in the computer, they can use the the link. Ah uh, yes, exactly. You're right about that. Mm -hmm. Can you, you can you do it or no, Dolly? Yes, I I do it in in, in the um my WhatsApp web. Too. Okay, that's cool. No, and and cell phone, but in my computer. It's okay. Ah, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, take your time, but not ten minutes. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, girl. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Take your time. Okay, I have Marce here and I have uh, Alex. Who yes. has a phone number 79860831? Nope. 0831? Nobody. Oh, oh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost? Mm -hmm. 0831. Mm, 
No idea, it's not here. Oh, but that's good if it's a ghost. We are gonna have another classmate here. <laughs> another yeah. participant, so that's cool. <laughs> Can you do it or no? No. I can't. You can't? Uh, I. Francisco? I can't the can't uh, connect the chat in WhatsApp chat. Why? And I don't know. I follow the link and instructions. Open the open the WhatsApp, but I don't uh, I don't found the the specific chat this class. Mm. I'm gonna share right now with you something. Just bear with me. You gotta find something like this. When you click on the, when the, when you click Francisco on the link that I posted on the Zoom chat, it will appear something like this. Can you, do you see this? Yeah. So you gotta click on the one that said, join to chat. Okay, just, I will try. And I, you, I will be automatically here. Okay. Okay. It's a strange because uh, suggests me suggests me the download the, the application ah, app, you, uh -huh. but but I do you I have it have, open? Yes, I but I have the the download since uh, one year ago. <laughs> the application in my computer. may I ask you what type? Maybe you are using a different browser. That could be right, Henry. Because I'm not probably, sure, but probably, normally, probably. normally under the under the green button, say mm -hmm. use WhatsApp web or using this browser. But uh -huh. in your case, you can see the you can see this. Normally, is it's like uh, it's difficult to to see to see the to see that. I, you no, I, I I copy the link to. Uh -huh to the chat and put in my uh, in my email and then i uh, <laughs> i take i take in my cell phone right now too okay only then the computer is in my cell phone too oh okay got um, it uh-huh yeah. i'm gonna uh, uh since uh, mr francisco i'm not the one who created the group <laughs> yeah i'm oh. not so i won't be able to join you <laughs> however okay. this is what right henry but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask a, um, the team who created that to join your, so you will be able to be here, okay? Okay. Okay, yes. cool. Thank you. Okay, in the meantime, in the meantime, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to share right now my screen. So you will be able guys to see why I have sent it through WhatsApp. Can you see it, Francisco? Can you see it, Dale? Yeah? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, and I'm gonna play the audio one more time. So in this case, just, okay. Let me know, guys, uh, or just click on the one that you agree with that had happens to you as well. Exercise 8. Perspectives. Quiz. Part A. Listen to some common complaints. Check the ones you agree with. Do you get annoyed easily? I can't stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. It bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. Ooh, sorry, Henry. I hate it when people talk with their mouths full. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. I can't stand it when people talk loudly to each other during a movie. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. It bothers me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. Score. Very good. If you checked. Okay, guys, according to that, tell me something. How many squares did you check? Three. Three. 
Okay. So three, you said you're fairly easy going. Anita, uh, two. you're fairly. Ah, only two? Only okay. Two. So that means, Henry, that you don't get annoyed very easy. Who click more than three? Raise your hand. Max is like me. <laughs> and then they're like me and Annie like oh, come on, Byron. Okay. How many you click, Anita? How many? Mm. How many you check on? Four? Six. No. Six. Yes. Wow. What about you, Dahlia? <laughs> Oh, maybe six too. Oh my God! And Mr. Byron, <laughs> five or six, I think. I'm counting. Oh right now. my God! What about Marce? Seven. What? <laughs> you know what, guys? Oh my God! You scare me. Because... I hope this is not going to my to my work. No, you're not gonna... you know what? You scare me boss. because. Uh, if I see your beautiful face, you, you see like an angel for me. But you're like, mm -hmm. in my case, I got to be careful with you guys. Oh, my God. So according to what the, the maximum of squares that you check, uh, if you are six, which in this case is Dahlia, right? Anita and Mr. Byron, you get annoyed pretty easily. But in the case of Marce, relax. <laughs> You get annoyed too easy. <laughs> and she has an angel face. Come on. No, I don't believe you. All righty. So you so you heard guys, and you have right now in your hands the expressions, right? I don't, I don't care. I don't mind it. I don't mind it when you see that. So those are the expressions that we use to talk about things that you like, things that you don't like, and things that you don't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you right now my screen really quickly. There you go. Okay, cool. Yes. A verbus class of eat. You can if you're positive and if you talk about things that you like, this is an example. Of course, there are more than this. You can say I like it when I love it when, or if you don't it doesn't matter for you. You said, I don't mind it when, but if you don't like, I don't like it. I can't stand it. Or I hate it, etc. And here, guys, we have uh, like uh, a little bit of explanation. Uh, what is the formula? With the class of it, you got to use the subject, the verb, and it. Of course, guys, it could be at the end, or also you could put it at the beginning. For example, it, bo it bothers me when, right? For example, well, in a verbal clause of when, you gotta use when, subject, and the verb. An easy peasy queasy. Like for example, this. Let's practice, guys. Would you like to practice? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have right down here, like the expressions neutral if you like it or if you don't like it so what i want you guys to do is to help me you can pick one of them one of these one that you have here and i want you guys to use it to complete these sentences for example mm, okay the first one says when someone gives me a, comp a compliment on my clothes uh, francisco um, whatever you want if you love it, if you don't mind, or if you hate it. I don't mind it. I don't mind it? Uh-huh. Complete the yeah. sentences, please. I don't mind it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Very good. Because you're a boy. But if you're a girl, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, guys? Right, girls? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. of course. I love it. Like, uh, I need only to so teach you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, yes, of course the <clears throat> men are different like girls, right? Okay, what about number two, Dahlia? Mm. I um you can use any of those, any of this. I love it. Mm -hmm. You love it? Number two? Oof. 
No. <laughs> when people are like direct it. and say what's on their no, mind, okay? Like I don't but, like it when the people are direct and say what's on their mind. What's on their mind, because, very good. Because my husband is, is very direct. Ooh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Yeah. Oops. Yes, I think nobody no, likes that. He's a, he's yeah. a, a, very, a very kind but ah, okay. <laughs> very direct. Oops. So, so no, no, this it's is a good, good quality. Sometimes not, right? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Exactly. You don't, you don't have to guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Number three, uh, 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 Byron. It's going to be... When someone corrects so my English in front of others. I don't mind that actually. <laughs> Very good. Point. Continue. Continue. <laughs> uh, I don't mind. I don't um, mind. Number three. When someone, co I don't mind when someone corrects my English in front of, in front of <laughs> others. Very good. Excellent. What about number four, Omar? I love it. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I can love it. And uh, um, I really upset me uh -huh. when a friend is sensitive and supportive. Oh, very good. Okay, that's his point of view. Okay, that's cool. Very good. Thank you. What about Alex? What about number five? Uh, I hate it when, <laughs> okay. people, when people throw trash on the ground. Me too. I'm agree with you 100%. Yes. Uh, what about number six, Marce? Number six, when a friend teaches me TOEFL skills. What it means to TOEFL? TOEFL. TOEFL is, is, a, is an exam to evaluate your English level. It makes me happy mm -hmm. when a friend Teach me about TOEFL skills. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> number five, Fabio. Number six, number seven, sorry. I love it when I get phone calls on my birthday. birthday. <laughs> yeah, because that means that everybody that is missing you, right? Okay. Very good. Uh, Katya, what about number eight? I don't I don't like when a strange stranger asks me for money. Very good. Okay, what about number nine, Noemi? Number nine, Noemi. No. I can stand when people call me. Late, late at night. Very good. And last but not least, Henry, what about number 10? I don't like when <laughs> teachers are temperamental. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. That means you don't like me. <laughs> no, no, no. no. It's like, you are a, a good temperamental. You better be nice. So that's, <laughs> 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 yeah, better be nice. Oh, that's cool. So you see, guys, how we practice? You see how it's really useful because that yeah. helps you like communicate and express yourself a little bit better. Uh, always I advise my students that do not try to complicate your life with like uh, sophisticated words and expressions. All I, I'm always advising you to try to express yourself with the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay. Right? However, it's really important like to give you more information, more vocabulary, more expressions in order for you to develop your English skill, but at the same time to communicate much better, okay? Okay. So to, tomorrow, guys, we're going to work on the pronunciation of some <laughs> words. Yes, because there are sometimes <laughs> we need to link the words in order to sound more natural and more um, native. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna focus on that. And of course, we're gonna continue with our topic. I don't know, guys, if there's anything else that, uh, that you need to ask or any questions that you might have so far. 
Feel free question. to ask right now or sip it forever. Go ahead. <laughs> I have a question. Go and ahead. It was about uh, they sent today. We have to have, or we have to do to to section two. Uh huh. But we are in right now practicing the section one, right? Uh huh. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You gotta work it out, man. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can <laughs> yeah, you can like follow up. We finished the section one right now. Yeah. So yeah, so you gotta like doesn't matter which topic we are, but um you can like continue by your own. But let me ask you something. Oh, let me let you know something. If you have any questions, guys, or if you're stuck in an exercise, no matter if you're finished already section five the final exam that would be awesome if you do that <laughs> but okay. if for some reason you will be like speedy gonzalez right but uh <laughs> if for some reasons you are like having a doubt and any any questions feel free to ask so we can also take some minutes of the class to respond any doubts or any question that you have and all you know what it will be good because maybe not all your classmates will be in the same space but when they face it or when they will do their that exercise, they will know what to do. So it's really, really important that we can share, okay? So for me, that's okay. And let me check. Okay, please send me the message that I asked you before for me not to forget, okay? <laughs> hey guys, you know what time passed really fast? It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and we already passed six minutes. <laughs> So sorry for that. All righty, guys. So thank you so much for doing today's class. I wish you a great night. Hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. 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 Bye.